Perilous Storytelling is made possible by Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash music to donate or learn more. Welcome back to Perilous Storytelling. On our last adventure, the boys had a rough go of it and made some enemies who turned out to be friends. Well, one of them was a friend, the other, the other ones are dead. They've somehow found themselves jobs as civil servant adventurers with our nice boy, Samuel J. Gabblegoose. Currently, they're staying at Gabble Goose's mansion, where mysteries are afoot. There's, there's no mysteries here. They're just, they're just taking a big sleepy. Everybody is in a separate room in Gabble Goose's gigantic ten-person house. It's, it's, I, it can fit at least ten people. Is, is what I mean by that. You guys, you guys can so, see on the screen. He's yeah. a very wealthy man. He can yeah. afford like tapestries and and bed sheets. It's and crazy. Wood. And wood. So much wood. So much. But you guys are each in a separate room. Um, from the last time, we have all leveled up to level three. You've all picked your archetypes. Uh, Avery, you chose Arcane Trickster for Bird. Yes, I did. And then, uh, Mandy, what did you choose for Brick House? Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a fucking, you're an epic vengeance paladin. And then, let's see. For Kenick, uh, we believe, what do we choose for? We chose the familiar. Familiar. It was Gift of or something, or I can't remember. What was the... What was gift the of the name? something. We got it. Don't worry. I, I'm it, pretty sure it wasn't Gift, but that sounds vaguely right, so... Yeah. You chose your Pact Boon. You chose, yep, the, you chose Pact of the Chain, so you have the Find Familiar the chain. spell. David, we chose uh, something Swarm from Unearthed Man. Arcana. We chose uh, Swarm Master, so... <laughs> <laughs> Master so essentially, of bugs. as as you uh as you guys are sleeping through the night, we're just gonna imagine that you Pokemon evolved. Like, that's not actually what happened, but essentially, um, throughout the night, a spirit visits each one of you and grants you uh the basically a blessing of knowledge, which wait, uh, it's kind we, of wait, an ephemeral. Whoa, whoa what? is is this a thing that happens? Yeah, we, this is a thing this, that is happening. Is this how my character am I, am stops I, being an atheist? Do I there's an up? ephemeral it's a it's a light blue uh fox spirit that kind of uh fox goes, spirit moshi yeah. moshi <laughs> moshi <laughs> fox spirit yeah. he's going from room to room and kind of giving you all uh basically a boon of knowledge to kind of evolve you because normally um an archetype like this could take uh months or even a year or two of training um but essentially uh, well, Mandy, Mandy's God just talks to him like the, the Fox yeah. Spirit can't even get into his room. It's completely blocked, <laughs> <laughs> completely it's, blocked by spiritual energy. But it, but it goes to each of you and, and basically uh, uses Kingdom Hearts to unlock the, the doors to your heart. I rolled perception. Do I hear the ghost? Can I talk you to roll, this ghost? Roll a d20 for me. I did. Oh, I see it. Uh, nine. Do you have a it's already got your bonus in there? Uh, no, you don't notice it. You sleep through the night. I sleep through it. Oh, yep, you sleep through it. You just wake up and you're like bugs. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly I have an urge. Well, I already had an urge to hang out with bugs. <laughs> it's just you, baby. Uh, so it visits each <laughs> nothing, and grants you kind of nothing changed. Actually, <laughs> you're just the same. I just feel the same. So do we ha do we have like a. Do we interact with the spirit via a dream or something? Yeah, or it's, it it's kind of a dream that you guys have and each well, except for um, Mandy's is is just cursed knowledge. Is it a is it a <laughs> I feel like is it a shared dream or is it like a very individual a shared shared dream? individual dream? Uh Kenick, you see your parents, you see your mom and your dad, and they're oh. high fiving you. Do I see them too? Yeah, <laughs> you can see <laughs> roll a D twenty for me, Mandy. Just just because. I need you to roll a D twenty. Add your religion. Roll a roll a religion scale. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You rolled in that twenty. Natural that 20. twenty. Mandy, you due to your attunement with, with your god, due to the attunement with your god, you can see perfectly like everyone's dreams as oh, you are being granted god. your boon. You're just there in the background, and if you choose to show yourself, I wish to announce to myself in the dreams. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> because it's me. <laughs> I'm gonna add a title to your character, Brickhouse Dreamwalker. <laughs> no, Dream Warrior, like like in uh, Nightmare like in on the Elf Freddy Krueger movie. Yeah, I, I, I see Brickhouse, and I am I immediately wake up in a cold sweat, yelling. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I turn into a rat. <laughs> 
Oh shit! Wait, can he's Brick gone con- lucid. Can Brick control other people's <laughs> dreams? Surely he has to roll for that. <laughs> roll a roll a wisdom check, Brick. Just, just because we'll see if you can control the dreams. We'll say the wisdom check is necessary. It's going to be another fucking 20. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. 11. Uh, so you can control the dreams, but only yourself and how you appear in the dreams. Oh, God. And only to a certain so degree. Can, so you have to a, be. So he can you, be a rat. <laughs> yes, he can turn into. He can turn to Kenick's mom and suplex him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the most powerful fucking conversion tool I've ever seen. Just <laughs> constantly appearing in your friends' dreams as your god, telling them you're real. <laughs> I wish to appear as a loved one in each of their dreams and strongly imply their belief system is wrong. Wait, if you're appearing as like my religion uh, and like proving it wrong in my dream, brick house, uh, like what is that appearing in my dream? <laughs> Well, he says he appears as a loved one. He appears as your mom suplexes you and tells you to go to church. Yeah. <laughs> what happens in my dream? You see a really cool Here's a large roach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yes. To tunnel properly into the afterlife, you must, must stretch your limbs towards one near you who holds the truth. Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> my feelers detect that what you currently believe is to be false <laughs> and that you must look around. <laughs> gonna be in the dream state right, we're, 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 everybody's everybody's waking up I it's, shapeshift again <laughs> no <laughs> time has passed uh everybody is now waking up bear in the big blue house uh uh freaking everybody is is well rested uh man uh, i don't Brick know about that hole in his chest well all right cameron's still pretty I, pretty reeling I, from I, the I fact w- that okay his mom okay i wait him. i wake up and scroll and get get through my uh <laughs> luggage and search for my uh small glossy device i take it out and scroll through the circle uh, on the, on the face to check if anything has changed overnight and put it back relieved to know that everything is back in the same place as it was before Except in your pocket, you find a small little scroll that has the find familiar spell in it. <laughs> What's I, this do? I, I, I look at it and, and, and wonder how it got there. If it had anything to do with Brick House and my mother. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I open it up. I think it's having a bad time. I, 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 I open it up and I look through it and, and put it back. Um, too sk- sk- frightened at this moment to do anything with it. <laughs> All right. I, I, oh, I walk so- in. I walk. I want to walk into Cam to Kinnick's room. I want to <laughs> knock on Kinnick's door really quick. All right. Can I come in? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah, sh- sure. I open the door very slowly and I peek in and I say, "Did you have a really fucked dream last night too?" <laughs> ha- ha- how? Ha- what happened? Why? I was sitting in a boat arguing with a rat about the validity of fiat currencies. I was, and then I woke up and I could cast spells. <laughs> I pull out the scroll of my pocket and show. I, I, this was in my pocket when I woke up. I there was, there was brick house in my dream, and my my mother he like took her down. <laughs> Uh, bird bird has also been reverse pickpocketed uh there is a small magical components pouch in your in the nearest uh pants pocket cloak pocket does bird wear pants yeah yeah let's go with yes how would he wear pants how would bird wear legs legs. (laughs) inventory i have to add that to my inventory don't i oh yes Yes, it'll just be a component pouch we'll just say uh we're not gonna worry about like the besides like maybe hitting up a shop every once in a while and 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 grabbing supplies i'm not gonna be this isn't gonna be fucking eve online we're not gonna do economics 101 right sorry (laughs) brick <laughs> okay. I, I looked at Bird and say, "So you've you've tried casting this like magic you've been given? It, you're fine, right?" Yeah, I'm great. Look, <laughs> and then I cast Mage Hand, <laughs> and I like I like touch him <laughs> from across I, the room. I I I'm suddenly elated. I'm like, "Oh my god!" And then I cast Mage Hand and wave back at him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Sad machine wakes up uh, <laughs> with more uh, with more bugs. Essentially, <gasps> this is the 
greatest day. Bird is also excited. <laughs> you won't, you don't know that yet. You don't know my bugs yet. <laughs> I'm going to find out. I go downstairs. I, I'm guessing we're upstairs. Are we? Where are we? <laughs> where are we in the mansion? I'm assuming uh, Brick also wakes up fully rested and the, the, hole, no. is, the hole in his stomach healed <laughs> after being stuffed with cotton. Oh, yeah. Did Brick ever take the crossbow bolt out of his chest? It's just in uh, there. Yeah. Brick, it got, Did it you? Got, it, got, it, it got healed. I don't know if it got healed with it inside him, though. Pop it out. I, I don't I don't remember it. I, I think you didn't take it out. You just like left you it there. You just slept with a crossbow bolt in your chest. <laughs> it's Side fine. Sleeper, it's, huh? pro- it's probably not the first. It's probably not the last. <laughs> so yeah, uh we wake up and I guess I I get out of the the room and I just look around. What's what's around me? Uh, so you are, you see a hallway down the hallway are the three other rooms and a couple, couple like vacant guest bedrooms. Um, it is the second floor of the house. So down the stairs would be the main room, the okay. library and the dining hall and kitchen. Uh, you can smell, uh, through passive perception that something's cooking. Oh boy. Smells yummy. I'm, I'm going to the, uh, the dining hall. I'm get, I guess. Okay. I, I had everybody there. else. Is everybody else still just kind of chilling in the rooms or do they head downstairs for Brecky? Bird is also heading down. I go for Brecky. Yeah, you go for, for Brecky. <laughs> Brick always goes for Brecky. I, I, uh, I, I, um, let Bird leave my room and I open up my. You let me. <laughs> I wait sorry, until Bird. Let, I, sorry. I wait until Bird leaves my room for breakfast and I, I, uh, open up the scroll that I've gotten and use the, uh, summon familiar. You use uh, find familiar and, uh, find and familiar. A, uh, a, a small orb of light pops out of the scroll and starts to form into a, an egg. And then the egg rapidly starts to get old and hatches. I don't know how eggs don't grow old, Brendan. Uh, the egg starts to crack and you see a tiny little dragon head pop out. It's your pseudo dragon. You have a tiny little dragon boy now. I am very, I, I am very excited. <laughs> he, it chews at you, looking at you as if asking for a name. Uh, Do I see this happening? You you can. Oh, or you no. just chilling outside of? <laughs> you just want to chill outside of Kenick's like door, like yes. What the fuck? Why is Brick- Bricky hungry? He <laughs> <laughs> was trying Brick- to eat his dragon. Can I, can Why is Brickhouse just stalking the <laughs> Kenick constantly? Why is Brickhouse a fucking psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> Can I can I roll for perception to see if I notice him outside my door? Yeah, um so it would be um uh Brickhouse roll for stealth actually if you're outside of his door. Looks like a oh, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, you're two. stomping and jangling around outside of Kenick's door. Everybody downstairs can hear you. I open I, my door and wait, look to sad, him ma- back. sad machine, here's what's happening and he he runs back up. Towards okay, the Okay, you start running back up. Uh, Kenick, you are opening the door. I'm opening the door to, to greet Brickhouse. Be like, uh, is there something you need? Look at my... I got a dragon. I, I see. <laughs> Get out of there, Kenick. I, st- I, cr- I cross my hands like Nosferatu in the Werner Herzog movie. <laughs> and stare intently at the dragon. I take several steps backwards. Uh, I ask him, so, uh, I think I need a name for him. You got any ideas? I, I, I look very, uh, <laughs> concerned with how Brickhouse is eyeing up my dragon. Omelette. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sad Machine, is Sad Machine there yet? Sad Machine I, I, has I assume, arrived I assume during this he conversation. Has arrived. Yes, Sad Machine has now arrived. At, at the, at the word omelette, you, you reach the tail end of it, and you are now... Uh, skittering through the hallway like an anime character on lubricant. What the like fuck a lubricated kind of description? Floor. Like you're slipping on the floor, I, like it's just I was been lubricated. Running? Yeah, like you got your socks on still. I don't. Do cats wear socks? Do they? I mean, I can't. I guess. I guess I have like funny socks. <gasps> can I have funny socks that have dragons on them? You can have funny socks that have dragons on them. Add okay. it to your inventory. Put them in your inventory. <laughs> Yes, you I only get have there. Them for I now. say, yeah, I you say, have to give them back. You're borrowing them from I, Gabble Goose. Oh, can, fine. I I get there. I um, I look very worried. I I I just ask, 
I heard this noise that was just so loud and everything was rumbling downstairs and I saw like plates fall down. Is everybody okay? Uh, I look around very uncomfortably, uh, <laughs> keep making sure uh, not <laughs> to keep well away from Brick House and my dragon behind me. And I say, I, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Brick House has been very silent. <gasps> what? You have bugs too? And I point at the dragon. <laughs> it's it's not a it's it's just a very small pseudo dragon. Uh, I haven't. While he's haven't, while he's explaining this to me, I just I just grab in my pouch all the fucking cockroaches that I have now. How many do I have? You you you, you, you literally have a small horde of them, and I mean like two handfuls of them. Okay, I just have t- two handfuls of cockroaches that I take out. While he's explaining this to me, and I just wait for him to finish. I stop mid-sentence and just look at him very confused. <laughs> <laughs> I I have bugs too. I don't know where they're they came from. Do you think that I had mommies and daddies in my pockets? <laughs> I uh I look at my pseudo dragon and I look back at him and I look around and I see I see the candle burning and I go. I think I'm just gonna call him Ember, and then I walk past both of them and try to go down for breakfast. <laughs> All right. I think pseudo dragon is a word like spice. Like this is a well seasoned dragon. If I get it, you rolled. You rolled a zero. You rolled a zero for an in saving throw. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You rolled a one, and you got less than a one. With my modifier, I got a fucking zero. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, your character, uh, I can't decide if I want to go with your character just being like dumb as balls or immediately trying to grab for the dragon. It's up to you. He's already walked past me. Uh, he always, he already walked I'm just past. plotting. You're just plotting now. <laughs> dragon theft. All right. Everybody heads down to the, uh, to the dining hall and you, you, you smelled some good breakfast and you hear from the other room. Okay. Oh, you I, boys are can I just, hungry. Can I just say I I still have the cockroaches in my hands. You're just I'm look- holding them. I'm just looking at them intent like intently. I'm very happy about them. You can tell I t- that I am overjoyed. And sitting the at the dining table. I take the seat furthest away from I take the seat furthest away from Brick House and uh, Sad Machine that I could possibly sit in. Which is where Bird <laughs> terrible because there's four seats, so you're right next to Bird. <laughs> yeah, no, he's <laughs> He's just chill. I've just been eating breakfast. I don't have any yeah. idea what just went, went on upstairs. Yeah, you guys have been served a, a nice breakfast of egg sandwiches, and the crusts have been cut off. I'm about to eat into my oh, egg yes, sandwich, the then I look, then I look <laughs> the towards fantasy Bert. snack. I, 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 <laughs> the fantasy I, I, snack. I'm about egg to take sandwiches. I'm about to take a bite of my egg sandwich, and then I look at Bird and say, "This is probably like a like a faux pas or something. Like I don't, I don't know if I should be doing this <laughs> around you, Bird." Uh, very concerned. <laughs> They're cabald eggs, so you can eat right up. <laughs> what is cabald eggs? Cabald are, oh, are, are like yeah, okay. it's a monster. Yeah, oh, okay. I so mean, they're like They're bird is goblins. just kind of stare. I I want to see if bird because bird knows these are cabald eggs. So I want to see if he understands what the fuck Kinnick is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go insight. <laughs> yeah, you do insight. Yeah, insight. Do I? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you know what he's okay. talking about. Okay. Well, now I think you rolled Kinnick an eleven. Is, at this point, Bird thinks that Kinnick is a weird racist, but like, <sighs> not like a hateful type of racist, but like Just one of those w- people who's like too not racist to the point where it gets racist. Can I? Can I roll perception to see if I can read the room? <laughs> that would be. In, that would be. Uh, that would also be insight. That'd be insight. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would have supported a bird as Duke. Uh, no, you can't read the room. <laughs> Smile, a nine. Smiles at you as he says it. <laughs> I rolled I roll Brick, nine, Wait, so. does Brick have his helmet off? <laughs> no, you can just... No, you no, can no just I was being hypothetical. Is. Okay, gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I go, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I, we don't eat eggs where uh, oh. I come from, usually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I eat lots of eggs. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Your own or uh, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> Can you? What do you think? Gabble Goose, Gabble I, Goose pops out look, right I, as 
I'm committing to not reading the room, okay? All right, true, you are. You get one point of inspiration for that. You can use that to take an advantage. Sad Machine Thank heard you. what he just said, and even he's like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> Gabble Goose comes out at the tail end of that with a, a basically four... Um, they're kind of clipboards. Uh, yeah, we'll say they're, they're official clipboards with uh, basically notes on kind of what you guys are 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 going to be doing it just has the details of the place you're going to be seeing they they're they're clipboards with envelopes in them um so this is the information you need for the job i'm sending you boys out on um don't open these until you meet with your contact in the city uh just hold on to them for now the the, the information is magically sealed so if you open them uh they start on they, they basically catch on fire after about 10 minutes so you do not want to be opening them right now. You'll need that information for when you reach Karn. Great. We Thanks are... for the socks. You're welcome. I'd like them back. No. Can I keep them? No, because, uh, David, remember when we were in Colorado and you, you said you, you hate socks? You don't like owning socks? We're not bringing real life into fucking fantasy, Brendan. Oh. <laughs> Give the fucking, fucking socks back. How dare you? Give the socks back. You don't know what Gabble Goose is capable of if you do what he doesn't like. Sad Machine doesn't know that. So Gabble Goose also, Samuel J. Gabble Goose, uh, God's own prince, hands you boys each a ticket for the Abraham. It is a ship leaving later. Uh, this this ship will be leaving later today. Um, it's headed by Captain Chad Randy, which is a Patreon name. Uh, Chad Randy. I and uh, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know with Brendan. Uh <laughs> You boys will meet up with him later, so I would say get any any tasks you need done, any shopping that you'd like to do done beforehand. Um, I will accrue you get you folks will accrue a stipend when you return, and I will pay you for this job as well. Uh, as as an apology for the uh, the the unbecoming nature of some of my more uh, lucrative yet illegal activities, I'm going to grant you boys each. Did he give you guys a boon last? He gave episode. me five gold. I didn't add it to my inventory thing, though. Okay. Uh, he distributed gold among us. Yeah, I, yep. I, I added oh, it yeah, to I my uh, I added it to my okay. gold. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, shit. As as the gift I gave you earlier, you will also receive a little bit of a bonus that's just kind of a uh, a bigger apology for some of my uh, more uh, uh, stupid associates. <laughs> here is also, uh, for you, bird, here's a... Uh, Here's a uh, signet, a small signet ring. Uh, just use that if you get in any trouble. It'll only work once, but uh, when it works, it packs a punch. Hell yeah. Essentially, it has his sigil on there. Um, you can use Arcana on it to try to discern what it will do if you would like. I would like that, yes. Okay, roll Arcana for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can 21. tell it, it contains a basically a, a ghost head of Gabble Goose. Uh, it essentially <laughs> casts oh my fucking uh, vicious mockery from him. And you can use that either as a kind of if if some boys are bothering you or if you uh, if you need to use it in combat. It's a one time use, though. Gotcha. Since you're bros. Uh, but essentially, yeah, you guys can kind of wander around the Gestalt and check things out. Go to the shops uh, or just kind of wait until you need to get onto the boat. I put the um, ring on my right middle finger and I give my thumbs uh, up. Bang. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to you, he informs you that you have to twist it three times to use it so it's not something you could accidentally misfire unless you're a fiddler gotcha bit uh, of a fiddler I, but gotcha I, I assume my pseudo dragon needs to eat so I, I'd like to look around for like dragon food or like pseudo dragon food I guess okay there is a there's a pet shop in the town center uh we're gonna call it let me write down the name here uh Gregory's Gregory's house of, of pet wonders ooh do you all want to go to Gregory's house? Fuck it. Why not? Yes. See if they have <laughs> oh. eggs. Oh, uh, I no. I wonder if there's pseudo chickens or anything else that might be tasty there. <laughs> all right. Uh, you travel to Actually, basically. Oh, sorry. What's up? Can I go David? to a pawn shop instead while they're doing that? Yeah. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do Gregory's house and then you can go to a pawn shop. Sounds good. Wait, do right. they do I follow them to p the pet shop? No, you're going to the pawn okay. shop at the same time. So essentially I'll role play okay, them yeah. and then we'll swap yeah, to you. I, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys head down to town square and near uh, one of the more reputable uh, just armories. There's a small shack with a painted wooden sign that's slightly askew that says Gregory's House of Pet Wanders. 
Oh god. This is promising. Inside is a big Goliath. He is he is seven foot five, seven foot seven, a giant man wearing an apron. The apron is stained with various types of fluids. You don't know what they are. There are cages and 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 kind of barrels filled with goods. The cages are filled with animals of all kinds, from tiny chickens to big chickens to small manticores to big manticores to snakes that look like chickens and chickens that look like snakes. There's all types of animals, and most of them are a, a type of chicken. Hello! Welcome to Gregory's! What can I be doing for you? Oh! Uh, I, I just got a pseudo-dragon. I'm looking for supplies to do a pseudo-dragons, if you have any. Uh, very nice. Very, is a very small chicken. A scaled chicken. I get you. You will want to take some grain and some meats. I will get you cubes of meats and jerky. This will be two gold for full supplies. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Do right. Gregory, Gregory will head to back. Do not do anything illicit while um, Gregory is good gone. Good question. Do, does that... Yes. Do you have anything that, uh... I don't know, my uh, pseudo-dragon could sit on some kind of, like, piece of armor or liver or something? Some kind of- I have got you, my friend. I will bring you back accessory just for you. Special price of two extra gold. You know, you are very kind. You're very nice looking, handsome man like you. One gold, <laughs> so three gold in total. I well, will be right backing, okay? I've never been down haggled in my life. What is going on? <laughs> 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 All right. While while Gregory is gone, you guys have a chance to kind of look at the shop. Um, basically, it's just a kind of standard pet shop, though. Besides the the the. The signs all say different types of chickens, but you can tell uh, with your basic knowledge of, of literally anything that they're just different kinds of animals from cats to snakes to actual chickens. <laughs> and then uh, Gregory comes back out. He, he pulls down the, the curtain from the back. He has in his hands a small pouch of supplies, and then he pulls out the accessory. It is a shoulder pad with a tiny chair on it. Ah. Uh. Perfect. Oh my. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> You're a dragon. Your dragon look kind of like a uh, like a prim and proper type. So I I me thinking that they want to sit down on the job and maybe cross leg, do business, you know what I mean. <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of a, a bureaucrat kind of look. I get you. I I I I, 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 I looked at my I looked at my pseudo dragon uh, kind of a little bit puzzled. Like Amber, does that does that sound like you? What do you think? Uh, your pseudo dragon uh, just kind of raises their eyebrow. If they have, do dragons have eyebrows? Your dragon has eyebrows. We're going with that, okay? They have like the scale brow things. The scale, scale brow. brow. They have a brow. Yeah. Raises one brow and then just shakes their head at you, looking down like you 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 just met, but they expected you to know so much more about them. <laughs> 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 I look back and I I I I ask, uh, do you have something maybe? I, I looking back at my pseudo dragon, modest. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you're not expression. looking for tiny. No, he chair. should. He should have to roll for reading the expression. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> roll okay. for insight. Insight again. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm -hmm. A 13. Uh, from your insight, you're like, wow, this is probably something your dragon might actually like. But oh. it's still, it's still a little ridiculous. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, I, I still go with, like, you know, do you have anything, you know, less regal, I would say? Uh, ah, less bureaucratic, <laughs> I understand. You are looking for just one of these. And he brings out a tiny saddle. You are looking to ride, your friend, yes? N no, 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 he's way too small for that. He's... What are you... Well, no, saddle some... gets bigger as dragon gets bigger, so... I, it's kind he, of a he's a pseudo, thing. He's, he's a pseudo dragon. Uh, from what pseudo I know, pseudo dragon. Eventually, the letters fall off. Is how you get old. My name used to be <laughs> Handsome Gregory. You see, now it's just Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural evolution. Your name changes as you grow. Shit. Yes. <laughs> I look completely confused. <laughs> I look around at the other people to see if this is like some kind of weird, like cultural thing that I'm not understanding. <laughs> God, he's so racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, if, hang on, does Kinnick catch bird's eye? Yes. 
Bird like looks at him like with a knowing glance and like nods. <laughs> does he have free pet food samples on display? Oh, no, <laughs> he does have a square of free pet food samples. There is a there is a worm, a cube. They, all of these are toothpicks speared through them. So there's a small like wriggling still worm, a cube of of what looks like a small rice crispy, and various other tricks and treats for pets on a tray. I began eating them while grunting loudly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my friend, hearty appetite you are. Maybe you become my pet one day. I feed you well. <laughs> I, 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 Mandy rolled. I, I just want to mention to everybody listening Brick that roll Mandy for survival. rolled survival. He rolled for survival. I yeah. got a thirteen. You can you can fully eat. All of these, except for one, which is a, a it, there's one that you stop on or can stop on. It's a small glowing jewel that looks like it's been like the toothpick has been like rammed through with quite a bit of effort. Yeah, I'm not eating a jewel. <laughs> Are you sure you want to roll for that? That's a standard. <laughs> I, uh, what, would he, what would he even roll for that? I don't know. That would be I, constitution I, save. <laughs> I, I I look back how to do, how does oh how no does that <laughs> <You're all laughs> oh. did you eat it? I eat it. <laughs> Brick eats it. Uh, he rolled a four. He didn't eat it at all. Brick, you start feeling you start feeling uh kind of hot. Uh, Gregory looks at you in in shock. Oh no, my friend, that was fire crystal. No, that is for salamander. <laughs> that is literally fire. Uh, roll another Constitution save for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Oh, you fine. you burp and smoke comes out of your helmet. Uh, <laughs> how are you? The even? next time your character has to shit, you are going to have the worst poop in Brickhouse's life. <laughs> Bird is looking at Brickhouse wide eyed. <laughs> Bird cannot decide if he made an incredible choice in teaming up with this man or the biggest mistake of his fucking life. <laughs> I, I've i had too much at this point. I just look back at Gregory and I say, okay, okay. How about the one with the chair minus the chair? So it's ah, just, a just, a a just a little... Just a Yes. I get you. Let That's, me make adjustment. I will come right back, okay? okay. Wow. I, I, he, look at, I look at Brick House and be like, and just... Conf Complete confusion. <laughs> my, I feel like my pseudo dragon has also been doing the same. <laughs> I'm training my stomach for the big meal. I stare intently at this dragon. I, I want to. I want to get moved. I, I want to get moved. <laughs> I want to. I want to get moved closer to the bird and say to him. We have to fucking get rid of him at the first goddamn opportunity. This guy is not sane. <laughs> after after doing some work in the back, you can hear various sound effects uh, coming from Gregory's what you assume workshop, his mysterious workshop. Uh, and he comes back out and he's got the pauldron. He has, however, painted a chair on it. So it's a, a wooden <laughs> chair I, on, I, the, I, on the shoulder guard. I put my hand to my forehead and, and just like... I, I'm just done with it completely, and I go. That's that's perfect. Thank you, Gregory. You've been an absolute moment in my life. Roll for deception. Roll for deception. Roll for deception. Yeah. Oh my god. I roll the thirteen. 13. 13. Da, Gregory is glad he can make fine friends like you. Such a nice lover of chickens like Gregory is. Here, you know what? To gold. All I require for supplies and pauldron. Think of it like gift from Gregory. Gregory, not very good at business, but great at making friends. <laughs> I, 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 sh I shake his hand and I, I go, I agree. <laughs> so, it's time to settle debts, yes? You will give Gregory gold. Yes, two gold now, down from six. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, my friend. You all have a wonderful day. If you have need of Gregory's shop again, stop on by. Gregory gives great service. At night, I change into bar. It's wonderful time. Oh, my God. All right. While you folks are doing this, yeah, David. Uh, no, I want to. I, I need to ask Gregory something. Yes. Uh, I ask. I Bird walks up to the uh, counter and asks Gregory if there's any. Uh, 
Do you know if there's anywhere nearby where I could post something long distance? Oh, like post office, yes. yes exactly. There is box over near town hall. You put thing in, thing get delivered. As long as you uh, put the right name on it. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm gonna head that. I'm gonna head that way and meet you guys back at Gabagoose's place. I I look at him and I uh can I can I go with bird? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, thank thank you thank you and and I I fall, Rick I you should come him. too. I, 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 instantly, I instantly rescind my, <laughs> I, I, I go, oh, uh, I think I'm fine, actually. I just realized, um, why well, someone I don't have find... any friends to send things to. Uh, I, I, someone should go figure out what sad machine is up to. Uh, so I, right. I, I okay. go and find where he is. All right. I now it is, uh, when I, yeah, I messed it's, up when it's... I said pawn shop, I actually meant magic shop because I forgot okay. those existed in this world. Okay, well, I, I, it's still it's going to be a is is a magic item shop, okay? Because that's what I, I yeah, wrote down. That's, okay, that's exactly where I wanted to go. After getting directions from a very friendly town guard with a mohawk, uh, just because <gasps> I thought he needed some character, he ha he has a really cool mohawk. Uh, his name's Dan. He has he has no relevance to the story, left, but you thought he was it, really no, cool. It, it left a really good impression on Sad Machine. I can already say. A after after conversing with Dan for a bit, you head down to Varric's <laughs> Parlor, a, a very nice yet very small building crammed between two shops in Town Hall on the other side, away from Gregory's House of Pet Wonders. Okay, I Sad Machine is in front of the door right now. Is it, is okay. the door the door opened? It's or? it's a very ornate door and it opens right when you step in front of it. But somehow, and your character is flabbergasted, it slides <gasps> magically into the wall as if knowing that you were there. Wow! And you hear a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I sad machine slowly walks through the door and inspects. The inside. inside it looks like a really cool warehouse shelves and shelves and shelves of merchandise are lined in in between it looks bigger on the inside than it is on the outside which is which is uh it's it's magic it's really cool and then on the far corner there is a uh, grumpy looking dwarf with a really cool uh split beard oh. <laughs> and reading glasses muttering to himself looking oh. in a book so sad machine is <laughs> he just uh, walks very walks to the nearest uh, merchandise, like the merchandise closest to the dwarf. Okay, it's a it's a it's a it's a a standee uh, filled with a bunch of uh, clear bottles filled with a pink liquid. Uh, you cannot read the language <laughs> that is on the standee, okay, but it's got a smiling character with a big <gasps> thumbs, a smiling cute like elf character with pink hair and a big thumb with a thumbs up. <laughs> this is all so, very crudely sad, drawn, by the way. It's all wood. Okay, so. sad, ma sad machine. Sad machine wanted to pretend like he was interested in the bottle just so that he could get the attention of the man but instead he actually is interested in it now <laughs> and he looks so happy about it do you want to roll for arcana to, to like kind of figure out what the what the potions are yeah i i, I roll for arcana uh-oh Okay, you rolled a 13. All you know is that they have something, uh, they will do something related to pink bubbles, uh, of which they will do. Uh, you don't know if it has to be opened or ingested. You just know that the effect will be uh, pink bubbles of some kind. Okay. Sad Machine grabs one. Ah, and be careful with that! <gasps> don't just go grabbing things all willy-nilly in my shop. I'm sorry. Uh... I've, I'm just interested in this because it seems yummy. Mm, couldn't afford it, lad. Couldn't afford it. Everything in here is worth an arm or two legs at least. I have a few of those. Mm, my potions are too strong for you, lad. Couldn't handle them. Okay. Well, can I ask a question? Mm, you get one question, lad. Can I ask more than one question? Oh, there you are, lad. You're out of questions now. Oh. I guess I leave. <laughs> uh, can, well, can, can, we have a, can, can we 
we have uh, him run into to Kinnick Kinnick, Kinnick Kinnick runs into him at the entrance as Sad Machine is leaving. Oh, uh, Kinnick also met Dan and it left a Ken, Kinnick also met Dan leaving Gregory's and Dan told him uh, in like a peanuts like kind of adult voice like a wah, 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 that that uh, he saw a cat head towards Varric's parlor. I look extremely sad and disappointed. I I I look at him. What think uh, weighing up if I should even ask? Uh, and I'm like, uh, so, uh, you think go okay? I got a pauldron, and I point to my like painted chair pauldron with my dragon sitting on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> the sad machine looks at it, looks back down. It looks nice. Oh, I, I go. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I saw a cat going somewhere. Do you want to? Follow that? What, what? What's going on with what you, is, man? Like, you uh, that, so well, racist. that's, that's da- racist. <laughs> David is a tabaxi. He's a cat. <laughs> Kenick is such a, is such is a so fucking racist. racist. <laughs> I, <Where's> the- <laughs> I asked. I asked all the questions that I could. He can't take any more questions. Do you want me to go in and ask a question for you? Is the question where's the straight pride that? parade? I I can ask questions. Yes. Can you can you ask him about this? And I point the I point at the synth. I, I, I look at it and I, I'm like, what is it? Do you know anything about it already or I don't know. I just woke up next to it. Uh, okay. Well I sure, if 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 that's the most important thing to you right now. Just double checking. He only gives you one question. Yeah. Alright. So uh, I'm gonna go in and ask him about the synth. I guess. Okay, you you head into Varric's parlor, and there is an upbeat young dwarven man manning I, the counter. Can I just mention I don't let Kenick touch the synth. I don't let yeah, anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Play. You I, both I, have, I just bring you, it with me. I'm holding. You both it. have exited and re-entered, and inside is a young dwarven man with no beard standing behind the counter. Oh, what? hello, friends. What? Welcome to Varric's parlor. How are you? Who uh, are you? Oh, well, I'm Varric. I own this place. Who is the other man? Also me. You're a case. Careful. Shit. Careful. You only get one question. <laughs> no, well, you see, I'm time cursed, uh, meaning uh, sometimes I kind of just swap between incarnations of myself. Although I keep all the memories of my current self, I'm actually only about 35. This is a bit younger than what I'm normally used to, but uh, uh, the last one was lasting for several weeks and was getting a little irritable to be. I look at the sad machine and I say, it doesn't seem like you have to ask him questions to get answers. Nope. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> as I got as I got older, I, I, I assume I developed that habit from somewhere. But time is in a straight line, so sometimes I'm a little bit different. Um, one time, I was a skeleton for an entire day, which uh, was not great. Sad machines minus getting fucking overloaded. He looks he looks like he's just like gone. Uh. <laughs> I, uh, too much I, information, I, too much I, to understand. I notice that machine. I say, "Okay, uh, do you want to show him whatever you have?" And, oh, yeah. And like, all right, he so, spring uh, back up and shows him. Show, I show him the uh, the synth. Oh wow! Look at this. Uh, this is a. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't really. Let me roll here. Uh, do, 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 do. All righty. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really tell what it is, but I can tell that it's a uh, it's a fey instrument of some sort or a, or, or a device from the the fairy realm. There's a powerful uh, I, I wouldn't say spirit. It's not quite alive, but it's not quite dead either. Uh, but it seems like it's locked behind something, uh, maybe a song or a melody. It looks almost like a miniature piano in a way from the white and the black keys. Although it does. I couldn't tell you how to operate it. I can at least give you this advice uh whatever is inside of it i can't tell if it be good or if it be evil i um i notice varic's uh vast uh encyclopedic knowledge of these these sort of uh devices and think that this is a prime opportunity to figure out what my device is so i pull out my uh I pull out my iPod and show it to him. <laughs> and ask him. <laughs> oh, dude. I ask oh, him, man. So, you have an iPod? You have an iPod? That's crazy. <laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't say iPod. I'm just saying what I'm pulling out. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a small, it's basically an iPod, yes. I, I, I ask him. <laughs> if he can, I ask him. 
I ask him if he knows anything about this one. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, Here, I, give me your head. He he grabs your head with his both of his hands, and he takes the two white, uh, the white headphones, and he sticks it in your ear. He grabs it, he powers it on, he shuffles, and then he plays, uh, he plays a Lady Gaga song directly toxic. in your ears. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Britney Spears toxic. <laughs> huh. Wow, this has all of the Song of the South soundtrack on it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I zippity doo dah, huh? I, I immediately pull, pull the pull the earphones out of my ear and say, "What are you doing? What what the hell is this?" I look. Okay, I found this. This isn't mine. I have no clue what this is doing. <laughs> no well, idea. it's not cursed, so <laughs> it just what? seems to be some sort of music playing device. Music playing. I grab <laughs> one of the the headphones and I I put it in my ear. I, uh, roll. Really just, I need you since you're tabaxi. Look at I, I do need you just, to roll. A, I, oh, you just look at it. You don't put it yeah, in your I, ear. I just, I just stare at it, and then I put it in my. I try to put it in my ear. Sure. What okay. Roll? Uh, roll a Constitution saving throw for putting that Excuse in your ear. Excuse me. Roll a Constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, uh, it, that's it, a five. It, it, it's too loud for your keen tabaxi hearing, and it. After you, you, you pull it out of your ear. Your ear is ringing a little bit. Ow. Why would you just stick it into your ear? We don't know what it is. He just says it's a music player. You just believe him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was nice to me. He wasn't he gave, before. He, Remember when he didn't only gave you one question? You're literally that's why we're back here. What? I don't have a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> I, Was I, there I, anything I, else I could do for you guys? Did you want to buy something in my shop of wonders? I point I point at the Pepto Bismol. Oh oh those, my bubblegum potions. Yeah, I mean five gold. <gasps> you I can afford at, it. I look at Kenick very excitedly. I say, I'm not I'm not paying for it. I, it's, this is all you, man. <laughs> I, I, I immediately like just start looking through my pouch and I get five I, I just like five five gold put like smash it on on the table and I grab one. Oh, one of those just do be careful potions. if you do drink it uh, don't shake it violently before drinking that could cause some unintentional yet hilarious side effects. I turn around and look at him and my my mouth is just pink. <laughs> you already drank it? Oh. Yes. Uh, roll a d20 for me real quick, David. Uh, okay. 18. Yeah. Uh, for the rest of the day, your skin your skin will be uh, pink colored and stretchy and elastic, uh, giving you basically, although you're not encountering any fights, you can squeeze. <laughs> you know, you ever, you ever play Wolfenstein, um, Wolfenstein yeah. 2? You know yeah. when he gets like the thing that lets him crunch his bones? Yeah. You can you can basically get into small surfaces for the rest of the day. It lasts for twenty four hours, and I, you are pink colored now. I look at Sand Machine while he he drinks it, and wonder if I made the wrong choice by trying to find him instead of sticking with Bird and uh, and Brickhouse. <laughs> Speaking of Bird and Brickhouse, the two bees of the Intrepid Adventures have arrived at a, literally the post box. It is it is not a post office. It is a box with a sign above and an arrow pointing down. You look into the box and you can you can see no end to it. Um, it's just a big crate uh, that has an arrow pointing down uh, with post box scrawled onto the the wooden sign. Okay, uh, I just scribble on a small parcel an address. That has uh, the parcel has two gold coins in it. And I drop it in the box. All right, you hear, a, I, you hear a, and it disappears into the darkness. Presumably great. sent off into the mail system. Fantastic. Uh, so everybody's heading down to the port, and I have to move. Do, 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 do. We're gonna head down to the port and there are ships abound on the port. Of course, you guys remember that the Gestalt is a giant ancient ship, but docked next to the Gestalt in the water is a port shooting out from the side of it with many ships docked. Uh, Gabble Goose has given you directions towards like, uh, where the like Abraham smaller, is. Smaller ships, I'm guessing? Smaller ships, um, and you guys arrive in front of the Abraham, which is a medium-sized passenger vessel. So you guys are in front of that Abraham and you see um, near the uh, God, what's the thing called that you step on the board that you step on to get onto the ship, the port, 
the the port the no deck? the no the the board heading up the boarding board board the boarding board the boarding board to get onto the ship there is a very very well dressed dragonborn wearing a collared coat a puffy white shirt and he has dark black slacks he has a gold cutlass adorned on his hip and it, it, you know he's he's uh he's he's got a uh a, a funny like uh kind of french style hat with a feather in it and it is red with a a gold buckle uh he addresses you all directly and says Hello there, darlings. I'm Chad Randy, and I'll be your captain. Next to him is a small gnome who looks very, very familiar. This this is my first mate, Sam Gabblegoose. You oh sorry, Manny Gabblegoose. Uh, you've probably <laughs> been acquainted, <laughs> Manny Gabblegoose. You might know his cousin. He employs me, but don't worry, I don't give him any preferential treatment. I told you guys it was a common name. <laughs> It's a very common name, sir. That cousins. That doesn't prove your point. Well, it's <laughs> common between us cousins. Oh yeah, we've 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 met two gabble geese in the space of what two days? Yeah, not common at all. And you don't Fine. think that's related to the fact that we're doing work for the first guarantee gabble you, goose? Guarantee you, guarantee you, we meet another one on this adventure. Guarantee I, you. <laughs> I will bet you five gold. I would agree with you. Sad machine just nervously gives the ticket to the captain why are you handing this to me darling you must be you must be new here keep that on you i know you folks are here to ride on my ship i have a couple other passengers but don't worry i've booked you all a room it's a little big uh it's got bunks in it so it's not the most luxurious of rides but you will have a full meal come daytime if you want to jump on the ship hop 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 up what kind of meal i I literally Mm. hop on ah well, on my ship, the Abraham, you'll find a one-course delightful meal of hardtack bread and beefed jerky. Beefed jerky? <laughs> beefed? Beefed I'm thinking jerky? intently about the pet store that turns into a bar at night when <laughs> the pets are served as appetizers. <laughs> I board anyways. I, uh, and yes, I, beefed I my, jerky. I put my hand up and ask, is there any way I could get a separate room? Uh, no, at we're, all. we're booked full, darling. You're going to have to stay with your friends here, unfortunately. I've already had to kick out a couple of people just to accommodate y'all for this job. My accent is all over the place. I can't tell what I am. I give Kinnick a firm pat on the back and be like, I'm sure you'll be fine. The Dragonborn's <laughs> having a fucking exist- existential crisis. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> what was his name again? His name is Chad, Chad Randy. Randy. Chad Randy. Chad Randy, the Dragonborn captain. Um, on the deck of the ship, there are a few crew members milling about. Um, there are also some interesting looking people also on the deck that seem to be the other passengers. Uh, six other passengers to be precise. And they're all on deck kind of looking around, examining the ship. Um, one of them, uh, sorry, seven passengers, uh, I believe. Let me let me look at my notes again. Seven passengers. One of them is a half orc man wearing an aristocratic white, like he's he looks like a, actually like a full orc, like green orc, well wearing like aristocratic clothes that he looks like they're too small for him. He's kind of almost bursting at the seams, and he's got a giant like kind of powdery wig on as well, and he's just kind of looking around. He's got tiny little gold rimmed glasses, and he's looking around discontent, looking like he's better than this. I stare at his funny little powdered wig intensely. Mm. You? Huh? Are you threatening me? No. I just mm. thought your hair was funny. Oh. Mm. oh. You'll pay for that, boy, but not now. I have business to attend to in my room. Pray none of you bother me. I don't have that much money. I don't think I can pay. Mm. But you will. Well, it's not about paying. It's not about. It's not about paying. Shut up. That's not very nice. I don't have to be nice. I'm the Orc Ambassador. I play by my own rules. I do what I want and I do what I like. Even if I have to wear this clown get up, I get the job gone. done. Oh, yep, he's, he's <laughs> just launching into exposition and you walk away. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just gone. <laughs> that was... I, uh, I, I got distracted by something else. I go at the opposite of the boat and I just sit down and hang out with my roaches. I walk over and sit next to Sad Machine. I uh, whisper to Sad Machine. I say, hey, um, is, huh? it a, is it a cool if you don't tell anybody else about my, uh, you know, device? Like, 
I won't tell anybody else about what you learned about your um piano. Uh, <laughs> and the hand piano. The, yeah, the hand piano. Okay. I don't... I wasn't planning on telling anybody. Oh, well, that... I I wouldn't think you would. Um, thanks. Uh, thanks anyway. Uh, been a... A real oh pleasure. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I will pers- I roll perception, or should I roll insight to tell if he's being mean, or if he thought that I was no, going like, to tell like, everybody? No, he just he's just super awkward. You don't need to roll for that. that it's because you're just, a minority. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, sad machine wouldn't pick up on that. <laughs> Absolutely sad machine, not. Sad machine just stops looking at him and starts playing some notes on his synth keyboard. Uh, as you're playing notes, one of the other passengers actually approaches you, Sad Machine. Uh, he's a he's a he is a gnome wearing a big poofy hat, and he's got a big poofy vest, and he has a a very and I mean like all right, <laughs> he has a very large uh, backpack that has multiple stacked in, in boxes. Have you guys seen Labyrinth? You know what? Not even Labyrinth. Let's say let's say Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding, Sam Porter Bridges, giant like basically a bunch of like uh, goods all, all on his back as he kind yeah. of waddles up to you sad machine oh i'm still pink right yeah you are still completely pink by the way okay hello there pinky that's not my name oh well i didn't know what else to call you sorry i'm a little awkward uh my name is daniel dennison uh i'm a i'm a i'm a gnomish merchant uh, I, I sell and buy rare trinkets and that trinket looks well it looks pretty rare it is. There's only one of them, as I, from what I can tell. Would you, would you mind if I take a look at it? I, I bring it closer to me, like, you know, like I don't want him to get close to it defensively. Yeah. Oh no, no, come now, come now. Uh, I wasn't trying to, uh, to make you part with it, my friend. Uh, maybe, maybe, mayhaps, um, mayhaps, uh, uh, we we could strike a deal. Um, if you were willing to part with it, which I'm not saying that you are, but perhaps sometime in the future, if you'd like to come to me, um, uh, here's my business card, and he hands you a, basically a, a a little like a little uh, sheaf of uh. God, what's the what's the thin rock that's like black? Uh, what? What's the like thin uh, black know, like sheet rock? I basically, what, I know what you're talking about, but I have no idea what that's called. Obsidian? No, not yeah, obsidian. It's, it's, it's not obsidian, obsidian too. Uh, not like obsidian. mica, like mica, right? Uh, sure. It basically looks like black with white like stripes through it. Yeah. Not like zebra, that. but like like lightning, like white lightning. You, you, you yeah. get the gist of it. He hands you a business <laughs> card that is just a plain stone rectangle. Uh, and when you when you touch it, 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 it his name appears in gold lettering across do it. I, do I what notice was, this? Does Kenneth yes. notice this yeah, exchange? You're still sitting there, so you do. Okay, so I, I look up to him. I say, so you deal with artifacts like he has? Oh, yes, but I just kind of uh, buy and sell them. Um, I have... Uh, I have a bit of a, a, a family lineage. Uh, uh, we are uh, completely immune from cursed items. So I tend to buy and sell and trade and deal in a lot of, well, cursed and uncursed magical items. Although I don't have the knack for telling if an item is cursed or not. So I, I, I can really only tell if it has uh, magical effects. But yes, I do. I do buy and sell. So you have others like his? No, I've never seen anything. I can just tell that it's magical um i don't know what I'm it is i just want it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay all right well if you ever have need of a of a, of a rare trinket uh a dealer we could you know we could uh make a killing okay i like to i like to imagine that kenick just stood up and walked away <laughs> <laughs> goodbye no i just yes, sit Kenneth's down and, and put my rude he- bastard i just sit down and put my headphones uh, my earphones in trying to figure out how the <laughs> device works brick brick house uh, uh has as uh, have you just been standing there for quite a time just observing i've been staring at the wall been staring at the wall <laughs> um two two of the passengers approach you brick house it is a it is two incredibly buff uh dwarven mercenaries they're wearing like mad max style like chain like like uh like basically they look like digimon if they were people is the best way for me to describe them and how they look what <laughs> oi brother you think we could take this one yeah yeah i think we could take this one if we try hard enough what do you think big fella you think you could take us i'm still staring at the wall <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you think you could be the boss of this gym, brother? No, just all right, nothing. All right, well, doesn't look like he wants to play Smash. I don't think he wants to play Wrath. All right, I never had Smash anybody act like Wrath. That. Wrath and Smash, yes. Okay. All right, well, uh, your well. Names? No, those are my names. Okay. Well, well, all right. Well, you have a, a great day if you want to. Do you believe in God? <laughs> oh no. We believe in Here. fighting. <laughs> fighting is my God. Well, do you have a do you have a leaflet or a pamphlet? I turn away from the wall. How close is the nearest uh, table and chairs? There is a there is a there is a table and chairs. Oh, no. There is right next to the the main mast. There is a, a table and three chairs. Oh no! I walk to the table. I like to roll strength to hurl a chair at one of the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> roll strength. Oh my god! And I'm also going to roll fifteen. All right. You roll a you 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 pick up a chair and toss it directly at one of the dwarves. Uh, do 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 do. I have to roll again. Uh, both hitting both of them like wrestling style. They get like sprawled out, and knocked out to the ground. They both pop right back up and put their arms into the air and go yeah. <laughs> I throw another chair. <laughs> Sixteen. Brickhouse is looking for blood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this time, this time, Smash, uh, the, the the foremost right, uh, basically, Wrath has a Wrath has a mohawk. Smash has uh, Smash is bald. Uh, Smash grabs the chair midair as you throw it at him and uses the momentum of the chair to swing it around back and throws it back at you. Roll a, another strength saving throw for me. Seventeen. You pick up. Would you like to? Throw the I chair would like back. to try and swing it back. All right, you you pick the you grab the chair and you swing it back at them. Basically playing chair table tennis. <laughs> now the chair, <laughs> it's a lot of chairs this episode. <laughs> the chair comes back and hits Smash right in the face, propelling him to the edge of the boat and almost knocking him off. Uh, and he stops just short of the edge of the boat. Wrath is I throw just another chair at the door. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a chair at Wrath. Holy shit. <laughs> oh Holy shit. And it also, it basically hits Wrath straight in the face, bowls him over. It Somehow, the chair, he gets sat down on it as it's tumbling. He's tumbling with the chair holding <laughs> onto it and stops legs just basically barely holding onto the edge of the boat, and then it sits down back on itself, and he's sitting in the chair right near the edge of the railing of the boat. Now you've met my god. Chairs are his icons. I stare back towards the wall. <laughs> During the commotion, when I when when uh when one of the smash or wrath I can't remember which one one of them one of them just screamed, uh sad machine, uh per, like got scared and like tensed up and did and just like uh, pressed down on a bunch of keys on the keyboard without really noticing it and he summoned uh he summoned a swarm. Oh god, there's a swarm of roaches now. There's a sw every single roach every single roach comes alive towards me. <laughs> you are Which you are quite the spectacle as every sailor whip snaps their heads towards you like oh my god. Also the the shouldn't the roaches in somebody's pockets come alive and come oh, towards yep. me. Oh, yeah, and then the, the roaches in Bird's pocket fly out. <laughs> and there's 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 quite a few, and they burst out and fly back towards you in the swarm. Bird, will you I roll a uh, dex check for me, actually? Yeah, sure. Dex saving throw? Dex saving throw, yep. Rolled an eight. Nice. Uh, <laughs> it, it rips through your pants pocket. Unfortunately, you could not <laughs> save your pants. Cool. You reap, you reap what you sow. <laughs> I'm stealing them back later. <laughs> Where are you going to put them? You, they're just going to fall out of your pocket. Gonna, I have just pouches. The fuck? You think I have one pocket? God damn it. Did you guys you are fucking amateurs. Yeah, okay, whatever. Sad I, Machine looks super fucking baffled by what just happened. But also, he's a bit happy. I am standing up on my chair, uh, trying to get as far away from the roaches on the deck as possible. I've put my... Uh, iPod back into into my pouch, 
<laughs> I am very freaked out. Uh, and my pseudo dragon, I assume, is rightfully also freaking out flying above me. <laughs> I'm just, I go, what the fuck are you doing? Your pseudo dra dragon is, is flipping out, but elegantly, so. Oh. <laughs> ah. I don't know what I did. Can you stop I don't know what's it? What's happening? No. I can I can try. I just start I just start just like <laughs> Thank God. violently violently trying to find what, the right how key. To stop this. Yeah. Oh, does he have to roll to see if he if he does? Oh, it's just a it's it's just an innate ability. Um uh, I I would probably say that eventually sad machine figures out it doesn't matter the melody of which you play it okay. matters the the emotion of which you you play. All right, do the roaches event do you eventually find yeah, the yeah. right? Yeah, I mean I, yeah, hopefully. I, I literally press I I, I press roaches everything and do forever. everything <laughs> and eventually everybody Nvidia roaches. Me eventually everybody on the boat telling me to f knock that shit off i didn't know that uh, nvidia's rtx standard for roach time expo i hate this shut the <laughs> fuck up <laughs> e eventually uh sad machine figures well he doesn't really figure it out but he just makes it stop somehow and the roaches all fall back into their preserved perfectly preserved cockroach state back to your pockets i presume Yes. Okay. So you guys have been acquainted with most of the passengers on the ship. Um, there okay. is well, no, uh, apparently nobody gave gave a shit about that. I, a lot of the, a lot of the people are like, "Oh my god!" And then they turn back because they live in a world of fantasy and magic. And and, and you know, um, can I shake that machine? And, sad can machine I, looks at the synth, and on a little LCD screen, it says, "You lost karma." <laughs> uh, uh, can I can I check and see if anybody has uh, left the ship, get, um, leaving up free spaces in a different room from Brickhouse? Nope. <laughs> Actually, one more person has arrived. A, a, <laughs> half, a half orc in what seems to be uh, like administrative clothing, uh, even, kind of heading towards on, the ambassador. I just realized room. we're not even like we're still docked. Yeah, we haven't even. Yeah. The boat hasn't even <laughs> left so yet. Much, I, I was so almost so checking. What, what about um freaking? Was it uh? smash and whatever then they fall off the ship no they, they just head, head, hit the railing okay great <laughs> Never yep, mind, they, you, yep you're not getting i mean even if one of them fell they have one room together so so uh uh, Captain Chad Randy uh, gets over it. Basically, the ship has a small magical like intercom system, and uh, there is essentially like a horn uh, leading f basically a tube leading from the captain's room out to one of this this kind of brass horn on the deck of the ship. And he shouts, all right, every it was his God. What was his voice? David Bowie. Uh, all right. Everybody get ready. We're about to set sail on a magical voyage over to Karn, a port human city. Ever port human city. That's awkward as hell. Whatever. Everybody knows what that human means. Human port city. Uh, human, right? uh, the human port city of Karn. So get ready, everybody. Put your boots on, because this ship is going relatively mediocre. Well, and uh, they, they, nothing. They, they basically a normal ship speed. So they pull the, the board to walk up or the board, the boarding board up and, and uh, set sail for Karn. Um, passengers start milling around again and just kind of start heading to the rooms. And you guys are bound for the sea. Adventure. Adventure. <laughs> Adventure. Uh, What's no, uh, no, uh, one, one more thing. Um, essentially nothing of note happens during the first day. Um, during the night you all have, uh, are, are, are kind of stuck in a, basically the nicest room in the, uh, crew quarters. They, they have, they have set you guys up all in kind of the crew quarter area here. Uh, I will, I will allow you to pick beds, but I will move you over there. I'm okay in the bed. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine with the setup so far. Yeah. Uh, one sec. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh, no. uh, hold up. I didn't. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> wait, actually, wouldn't this? Hang on. Wouldn't. Wait, no. Whoa. Wouldn't Brick being like in the spot where Bird is right now be better? Because then yes. Brick can stare at him while they're both lying in bed. Yes. <laughs> and Brick does not take off his armor. Yes. <laughs> so Brick, uh, Brick and Kenick are are sleeping across from each other, and Sad Machine and Bird are sleeping across from each other. Um, I said bunk beds, and they are there are eight slots, um, but nobody else is sleeping in the top bunks. Um, I'm sleeping in the top bunk. Okay, yeah, you can get top bunk if you want. Take the cooler side of the pillow. Yeah. Um, 
I would or I would take the bunk that is not directly aligned from Brick House, whichever that one is. Brick House is taking both beds. <laughs> That's not He's standing how vertically. That He's standing vertically <laughs> through <laughs> both straight beds. Staring Sleep. at Kenneth. <laughs> Actually, more realistically, he's staring at Omelette. <laughs> Not Omelette, Ember, you piece of... God damn it. Emberit. Yeah, ember. Emberlet. As you all snooze away into I'm a not wander... sleeping. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> all right all right I, I i have plans for that um who is all sleeping for the night then who's all tucking in for the first day this is i'm this, sleeping you are sleeping, sleeping. Uh, i'm also sleeping <laughs> all right everybody uh, just can are you just staying awake yeah i'm staying awake uh roll There's an endurance next. check or roll a constitution check check for me will you mm-hmm <laughs> oh, you rolled a three. Where you rolled a three. You're too that's sleepy. Critical. You feel your eyes close. You rolled a one. Ooh, that's a natural fail. You just, you just, you're like, I'm gonna stay awake. You conk right the fuck out. <laughs> your head accidentally touches the pillow, and you're. <laughs> oh God. And everybody is asleep. Um, but I need. Everyone to also, uh, except for Kenneth, because you are in the deepest of sleeps. Um, <laughs> roll a uh, wisdom saving throw. Everybody roll, except for Kenneth. Yeah, right. I was supposed to say. I rolled. <laughs> fuck. I rolled a two. I rolled, I rolled a 15. Okay. Um, sad Machine, and you're the only Andy one to wake eight. up. You're the only one to wake up and hear this. Uh, roll perception real quick for me, too. I rolled a three. I mean, seven. Got a seven. Okay. You can you can faintly hear... Uh, you can faintly hear uh, footsteps uh, from the outside of the room, but you cannot tell if it is footsteps or if it's your brain playing tricks on you, and it's just the waves crashing against the hull of the ship. So they may be footsteps, but it may also be nothing. Of all the characters to be alert to a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that uh, I, I feel like it's a little bit better than Brick being the only one who knows. Tur, tur. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use stealth. OK, roll sad for machine. Stealth. Sad machine gets up and goes near the uh, door. Is it a door? It's or a door. It yep. There's there's a okay. door to the crew quarters goes near the door. You have to roll for stealth. and. Oh, I mean, I, I, let me finish. Okay. I, he opens the door slightly and looks around. Okay, roll stealth. I rolled a 19. You see nothing. Oh. Must have been the wind. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Must have been the wind. Okay. Suddenly, there is a blood curdling scream a guttural roar from the passenger cabin of the ship that just wakes everybody up immediately all of you oh. jolt out of bed oh. just to, well, like, i don't have, I, even even me yeah, my even kenick even oh kenick it, it, it vibrates the ship it's like bo's base sad machine falls straight face he just gets so scared that he pushes the door open and just like slams his face on the ground Lights come all damage. up from the ship. I'm not taking too much. I know. That. I know. Comedy <laughs> damage. Lights pop up Comedy on the damage. ship as the candles, as the, the magic lanterns start to turn on one after another and the other crew members start to pop out. Uh, as you f head up to the deck of the ship, uh, first mate Manny Gabblegoose looks aghast at all four of you. There's been a murder. Someone... Someone killed the ambassador. Oh boy. Things are going to get a little perilous. Hey, thanks for listening to Folk and Dagger. This show wouldn't be possible without the help from our top supporters on Patreon, such as Alan Diver, Alex Steer, Buckshot Papaya, Dax Ritchie, Dreams of Ice, Eric Scott Gillies, Jeff Smith, Magnus Mellot, Marco Sotello, Rayon, Rissin Lookin' Fresh, Ryan Rankin, Seawolf812, Sky, Spooky Ghost, The No Ninja, 
Tyler Collins, and Unarmed Toaster. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.